Some people we see come and we'll go across the other side of the street. Some people that we know that we wouldn't even dare come in contact with. But how many of y'all know that we serve a God that is greater than any man walking on the face of the earth? Ananias knew who the man was and was fearful of the man. But God in his wisdom and his power is about to take a madman and use him for his glory. Keep reading, brother. And here he has authority from the chief priests. He has authority by the chief priests. To bind all that call on thy name. Everybody that calls upon the name of the Lord, he can throw them into prison. This man has power behind him. Yes, he is. Authority behind him. But the Lord is about to do something with that man. Yes, Keep reading, brother. But the Lord said unto him, Yes. Go thy way. Go thy way. For he is a chosen vessel. He's a chosen vessel. Unto me. Unto me. Despite what you know about him. That's right. Despite what his history is. That's right. Despite his present circumstance. He's a chosen vessel unto me. God said, I'm about to use this man. And the Bible said that even after he did this, and Ananias is going to tell him what to do, arise and be baptized, calling upon the name of the Lord, he's going to receive the Spirit of God, and straightway he went to the synagogue preached. and preached Christ Amen. that he is the Son of God. So how in an instant this man goes from being a persecutor of the church and a blasphemer to becoming a vessel unto honor. And if the Spirit of the Lord said, tell the people to prepare the vessel, because it's about to rain. So from that day forth, Paul made his business that wherever I go, whatever I do, whoever I come in contact with, I must tell them about the Lord. Because Amen. Paul understood where he came from. And understood that he was once fighting against this grace. But now the grace of God has been extended toward him. So Paul had in his mind that whatever I do, I must tell somebody about the Lord. Why? Because the Lord has transformed my mind. Amen. The Lord has transformed me. And don't nobody know like me what the Lord has brought me from. Nobody really knew what it was like to be the Apostle Paul and have so much authority like that and to be in a position and have the knowledge that he had and to all of a sudden become blinded and Amen. become as uh, uh, inferior when he once had authority. Nobody understood this. Nobody could testify to this but the Apostle Paul. So Paul said, now as I persecuted the church, and make mockery of the name of the Lord, I now must strive even the more to make sure his name rings out into every community, into every city I set foot in. And the same call is for the believer today. That's right. As much as the devil we was out in the world, we should be even more advocate for Christ while we're in the church. It should not be the day that we're not telling somebody about who God is. Yeah, right. Let somebody know where the Lord has brought us from. Amen. You don't have to be a preacher in the pulpit to witness of the goodness of Jesus Christ. Amen. For the Bible said, after you receive the Holy Ghost, you shall be my witnesses. Amen. And where are you going to witness that? You're going to witness in Jerusalem, in Judea, in Samaria, even to the uttermost parts of the world. That's right. God is trying to prepare us because something is about to happen. But the vessels must be prepared to be used by God. Second Timothy, go back. Second Timothy, and go back to the 21st verse. If a man therefore purchase purge himself from thee. If a man never purges himself from thee, he shall be a vessel unto honor. He shall be a vessel unto honor. Sanctified. Sanctified. And meet for the master's use. And prepared to be used by God. 
Give me 2 Corinthians, the fourth chapter. 2 Corinthians, the fourth chapter. 